Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Thanks for tuning in. I've got another nice Cadillac to bring you this week, folks. This is a beautiful 1996 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. Fully loaded Fleetwood Brougham for 96. This was the last year of these big rear-wheel drive Cadillacs. And they really went out with a bang because <laughs> they got them right by the end. LT1 powered V8. Uh, a detuned version of the LT1 in a Chevy Corvette. Everybody calls these cars, oh, it's a Cadillac with a Corvette motor. Uh, I guess, yeah, you could say that. It's an LT1 powered V8. It's a beautiful, beautiful example. Some of you who may have been with me for a long time as subscribers may recognize this car. I sold this car, I believe, about two years ago uh, to a friend of mine down in Florida. He's had this car down there for the last two years and has only put a few thousand miles on it. Uh, and it has come time to realize that he, he's gonna change up his car collection a little bit. So he sent this Cadillac back up to me and I'm offering it here at Specialty Motor Cars in Pelham, New Hampshire again. So anybody who missed out on this car the first time, she's available again. 65, I believe almost 66,000 miles on this car. Uh, lots of recent updates done to this beautiful white Fleetwood Brougham. You can see here it's a pretty unique car. Uh, white car with a white aftermarket vinyl top. Now most of these cars came with vinyl tops, especially the Brougham package cars. So to see this aftermarket padded style top on the car is uh, pretty rare. You usually don't see that on these cars. And then it's got the gold... Uh, e and G or Alpha style grill on the front, all gold emblems. See, they have the gold trunk lock cover. And the really cool thing about this car, and I remember when I had this, is it has the original spears on the quarters and on the quarter uh, front fenders, and they're absolutely beautiful. Usually these start to wrinkle and get all bubbly, uh, but this car. You can see here, really nice shape. And these are the originals. So let me point out a few things with this car. We're gonna go around, give it a good once over. You can see all the rub strips are in really nice shape. The headlights are nice and bright. Cornering lights are nice and shiny. The chrome on the grill is in really nice shape. A Little bit of fading on the gold ornamentation. You can see there but she presents really well. All these rub strips are in really nice shape. Usually these get beat up pretty good. Has the factory chrome wheels. These are the optional chrome wheels. You could get the same style wheel in a base alloy, uh, which was the most common wheel. Uh, but this one has the up upgraded chrome style wheels. All the chrome on the bottom of the car is in really nice shape. Beautiful tinted windows. Has like a, I don't know, like a blackish, metallic, and a reflective look in the tint. Beautiful vinyl top, gold emblems there. All the stitching and seams are in nice shape on the top. Come down here, you got another chrome wheel. I love those wheels. Those are wheels make these cars. Uh, they're a nice wheel to have. It totally wakes up these cars. Uh, if you have these because it just adds to all the chrome on the bottom Really nice shape even the back bumper is in really beautiful shape. This is a really nice car All right gonna flip this car around I'll Show you the passenger side. We'll get inside under the hood and in the trunk and we'll take it for a spin All right on the passenger side of this beautiful 96 Fleetwood Brougham Bring you around for a nice wide-angle shot you can see that beautiful white paint glistening off the floor. All that chrome and stainless trim on the bottom really gives this car a nice presence. This is probably one of the most stylish 96 Fleetwoods out there with the top, with the chrome wheels, the grill, and the car is in such phenomenal shape. Again, you can see all those beautiful lights, nice and bright. All the chrome on the bottom. 
factory chrome wheels, all the gold emblems. Another chrome wheel in really nice shape. Even the panel behind the rear wheel is super clean. Come around to the back, the back bumper rub strip. Another common spot for these cars is right on the corner here. Catch the edge of a garage door or something and tear that right off. This car, it's in absolutely phenomenal shape. Vinyl top. Again, all the seams are really nice. The top is in really nice shape, nice and soft. It's got that nice tint on this side as well. Does have, I believe, one or two little stone chips in the windshield. Uh, one right up there. That's just a little droplet of water. And then another one over on this side. Must have missed before. Right there. Look at the paint. Look at the reflection on the lights. Really a gorgeous car. One thing I did notice as well is this trim around the grill here. Must have been chrome at one point, almost like that door edge molding. It's kind of lost some of its shine, but it's still all intact and looks good. All right, let's take a look at the inside of this car and then we'll get it out on the road. All right, let's take a look inside this 96 Fleetwood. You can see the beautiful blue leather interior. Very classic Cadillac color combination, white with blue leather. You can see here dual power seats, memory driver's seat, your door lock buttons, uh, the radio tweeter, all inside the door jam is real nice, like all of them. Really clean in there, the sill plate as well. See here that beautiful Cadillac dashboard that they put. They put the one of the biggest dashboards I think ever in these cars. Uh, and this one's in really nice shape. No cracks, not even any fading up here. It's usually very common to see fade there. Leather wrapped steering wheels in great shape. Even the driver's seat is in really nice shape. These are really, really common to get some wear right on the edge here. Usually a puncture spot from getting in and out. But this car shows really nicely. All the side bolsters of the seats in really nice shape. It's got the big Cadillac center armrest in there. Dual flip out cup holder. Carpeting is in really nice shape as well. Take a look in the back seat. Back seat of these cars is just as nice as the front seat. You can see here a little flip open ashtray. Never been used. No candy or bubble gum melting in there. All inside the jam, really nice. Again, back seat is absolutely spacious, luxurious. Has the Cadillac crest right in the center there, stitched in. And these have a nice big center console in the back as well. Little storage tray, dual cup holders. Something that I don't think they put in the town cars until 97, they put cup holders in. Carpeting is in really nice shape, freshly shampooed. All the leather, really, really nice. Let's take a look at the passenger side. Take a look inside on the passenger side here. See, you're getting that beautiful blue interior, all freshly shampooed. And nice and clean. No Cheerios or Caramel candy melting in the cup hole. Oh, God, not the cup holders in the uh, ashtrays. Rear deck is in nice shape. Has the dual rear vanity mirrors up here. Those both light up. One thing I did notice is in this corner here, the headliner is starting to pull tight. Uh, this is an aftermarket dealer installed sunroof. So this is a suspended uh, headliner. It's in nice shape on the back here, but just in this corner here, it's starting to pull a little tight. All inside the door jam, nice and clean.
dual power seats, both controls on the doors. Inside that jam again, nice and clean. Out to this side. And again, you can see that beautiful blue carpet. Really clean, really nice shape. No abnormal wear. It's really actually very clean for 65, 66,000 miles. Again, like I said, that dashboard is in beautiful shape. No cracks or fading or discoloration. Passenger seat shows just as nice as the driver's side. Even on the side here. A dual cup holder comes out of the center. Got the coin holder here. All right. Let's uh, get her started up. We'll take a look under the hood and inside the trunk. And then we'll get her on the road for a ride. You can see here I got two sets of keys, one gold-plated set, two remotes, uh, but both original GM keys. And just by the push of a button here, trunk opens up. Power pull-down works beautifully. The original four floor mats are in really nice shape. Slight staining on the driver's side, as to be expected. Then you can see this car also has the locking gas door feature, uh, like the last brome that I just offered, uh, where you, when you flip this guy down, that little pin there locks in and locks the gas door. If you come up here, take a look at the trim tag, all the option codes, all inside the trunk jam is nice and clean, no rust. We'll gently close that down. Trunk pull down, works perfectly. Come up to the front here. We'll get this thing opened up and show you that LT1 V8. This is a little tricky, but she opens right up. Stands up by herself, and there she is, LT1 powered V8. This is a uh, torque monster of a Cadillac. These are such nice highway cruisers. Uh, with these LT1s in them. This one's in really nice shape. Really clean in the engine bay. Under hood engine light works. Really clean. A little bit of corrosion just starting around this uh, clip actually in this metal fender well. But all in all, presents very nicely. Let's take it out on the road. All right, let's take this 96 Fleetwood for a ride. We'll give it the start up. 65,956 miles. The automatic dual locks, automatic headlights. We'll take it for a spin. She really cruises nicely. Horn. Looks like a few of the lights may be burned out in this display gauge here for the uh, climate control from the backlighting. I actually might have one of those at the shop that I can swap that. I'll have to take a look. Look at the rear dimming mirror. You can see the rear uh, light monitors <laughs> up on the, uh, the rear of the uh, headliner. They're almost like snake eyes looking at you. Like I said, this is a dealer installed power sunroof, but nice big dealer installed sunroof from back in the day. I said it before uh, on that 92 Brome that I just sold. The sunroofs back then were huge because the cars could take a big roof. Today, they just can't. Uh, all the power seats work, windows, locks. All right, let's get her out on the road here. Even has the uh, headlight monitors up on the tops of the fenders there. Really cool. I think this was the last Cadillac to have them in the front. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the, the DeVilles carried the monitors a few more years in the rear, but I don't think they had them on the front. Let me know if I'm wrong on that one. See how nice this car cruises down the road. And these things have a lot of power. A 
lot of get up and go to these cars. I had one of these in high school, 96 Fleet, when I thought I was a, a speed racer when I was driving around in that thing. I appreciate everybody tuning in for this video on this 96 Fleetwood Brome. Uh, again, I appreciate all the support, all the new subscribers. Let me know what you think down in the comments uh, below about this Fleetwood. Do you like the top? Do you like the gold treatment on the emblems? Uh, and the aftermarket grill, or do you prefer them stock? I really do dig this. It's very different, and uh, you know, you see so many of them that all look the same, I guess. Not that you see a lot of them, anyways, anymore. But you see a lot of them out there without that kind of stuff. So when you see one that's just a little dressed up, it gives it a nice little uh, appeal, we'll say. Uh, let me know what you think below. Any questions about the car? My number is 978 930 1004. You can reach me anytime. My name is Anthony, website Specialty Motor Cars. Close that door up. SpecialtyMotorCars.net. You can find me on Instagram, Specialty Motor Cars NH, on Facebook as well. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate it. Everybody have a good week, and we'll talk to you on the next side of this 96 Cadillac Fleetwood. You can see here, pretty clean car. Car originated out of Pennsylvania, uh, then went down to Florida some recent work as I mentioned once before uh, new rear brakes drums I believe wheel cylinders as well uh, shoes all the hardware inside there uh, rear air shocks are also recently replaced with uh, I believe Delco units <clears throat> Here, light surface rust on the pans. New front shocks as well. Uh, one of the things that's common with these is these pieces of trim to break off and go south. Uh, this car has all that stuff still on it. Four tires I replaced uh, a few thousand miles ago. Yeah, there's a little bit of dampness here and there, nothing crazy. Come down this side. Looks like a new fuel filter. Plastic gas tank in these. Anyways, any questions, give me a call. 978-930-1004.